Hi everybody, welcome to Carry On Jeff and John. Um, I don't know what happened there when I've actually pressed the wrong button and I've gone on there. Can, I, can anybody hear me? Can you hear me okay? Wendy Lovecrafting. Hi Wendy, thanks for coming. Spirit in the Blue Sky. Yeah, Del. Cyberist Killer. UK Scrappers. Can you hear me? Everybody hear me okay? Russ, can you hear me, my friend? Loud and clear. Right, that wasn't supposed to happen. I ain't even played the music yet. You know, we always play the music, give people time to get in. Um, right. I always play my music before I start. Good evening, Yadel. MT Cole Ford. Thanks for coming. Absolutely awesome of you. Right. Right, we're going to be quick tonight. There's 12 people in. Absolutely fantastic of you. Uh, Cyrus Killer, uh, thanks for coming, my friend. Absolutely fantastic of you. It really is. Uh, check out Cyrus Killer. Uh, he's a great supporter. He'll always be there for you. MT Coleford, thanks for coming. Right, let me just get these. Um... That's it. How are you today? Uh, Pakistan, Nadine, thanks for coming my friend, Kathleen Elliott, absolutely fantastic, great people in tonight, Susan Baker, I hope you're well sweetheart, I know you don't have a lot of luck with your health and that, but um, I'm so glad that you've, uh, you've come along, 12 people in and 8 likes, right, what we're going to be doing is paprika uh, creamed mushrooms uh, on a toasted uh, tiger bread. Now this is something that my lads asked me to do for him. He uh, he's obviously had it somewhere, and he said, "Dad, will you do that for me?" I said, "Not a problem, son. I'll do anything for you." Now this um, it's it's so easy to do. It's not going to take that long to do, and it's a nice little starter. It really is. Right, the first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to put the water on. Right, sliced mushrooms. Single cream, olive oil, one spring onion finely sliced, a couple of medium sized eggs, and a teaspoon of paprika, smoky paprika, that's what I'm using. Right, we'll just put them in there for now. Put the eggs in there. Right. Get a kettle of water. People say it's better with this on. This is going to be for the poached eggs. Saves a lot of time. So if you're following this recipe, the first thing to do is get your water on. Right. Walk. Remember what I told you, always use a wooden one. You save me a pound, the last of my lifetime. A smidgen of olive oil, good quality olive oil. The day them absolutely fantastic, my friend. I hope you're all well as well. Absolutely awesome. Kathleen, thanks for coming, darling. Yeah, we'll 
I'll put them all in. Put it to slice mushrooms. And all we want to do then is just sweat the onions. Onions, the mushrooms, sorry. I'm not with it today. Got a bit of a sore throat, so you'll have, you'll have to excuse me. I've not been showing the love like I, I usually am, but I have been very well. All we need to do then is just sweat these mushrooms. I hope everybody's having an awesome day. I just want to thank the 12 likes that I've got here. Absolutely fantastic, and I really do appreciate it. They use the mushrooms to do soak a lot of oil up. So just keep adding the oil to it until the juices come out of the mushrooms and then we'll have uh, in, enough there. That bit of oil. Thank you for the uh, 12 likes, absolutely brilliant. Hello boys and chat. Evans M1365, welcome to the live stream. Absolutely awesome of you to come. You're new here to show some love to Ed Wanda365. Come on, let's all show the love like we always do. The beauty of it with this uh, the, our live stream is that the crowds that are in here are all absolutely fantastic people, they really are. So loyal, it's unbelievable. And also, I want everybody to put a prayer together for Mr. Penguin's um, girlfriend. She's, uh, she's going in for an operation on Tuesday, so come on. Let's wish her well. Russ, she'll be alright, mate. Don't you worry about that. She will be alright. Really saddened me when I heard that she wasn't very well. Give her my love, Russ. I'm going to cook these for about six to seven minutes. Right, what we need to do now is put your uh, teaspoon of paprika in. Beautiful. When you see chefs doing this, flipping it like this, what it does is splits it all over and it stops up in the keep doing all this and that. It's just a thing that we do. Does it every single time. Right, another ring. Put them on there like so. What we need to do now Put some olive oil on the bread like so. Turn it over. Just have a chat amongst yourselves. This is tiger bread. Can't beat it, absolutely awesome. 
Serial killer, I just want to thank you for coming, my friend. Making the time and the effort to come and see me. Absolutely fantastic of you. Check out Serial Killer. Great guy. Great family. Right, in your mushrooms, put your spring onion in. Get out of there now, like that. So. Then what we want then is two tablespoons. Of single cream. Awesome. The smell of that is absolutely superb. Now this is a beautiful starter, it really is. You can put uh, garlic in if you want, but this is a cre paprika cream mushrooms. Just like that. Simmer away, turn it down. And all we want to do is just toast these. Thirteen likes, absolutely awesome of you. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to show you in a minute how to do perfect, and I mean perfect, um, poached eggs. All we're doing is just brown, browning the tiger bread off now. Just want to thank everybody for the 13 likes. Absolutely awesome of you, it really is. And I really do appreciate you coming and me showing you my little, uh, my little tricks. Tr this is a uh, this is how you do poached eggs. Right, when you do poached eggs, get your eggs, like so, and put them in the dish. Now where people go wrong is that they drop it from a height and all the eggs splits up and all that. You don't do it that way, so I'm going to show you how to do it properly. Get a spoon, get your water on a medium boil, spin it round like so. Put your egg in. Just roll your egg in there like so. Like so. And what it does, while it's swirling round, all the egg is going in together, rather than splitting up everywhere. So that's another tip for you. Two or three minutes, and they'll be ready.
So that's what we're looking for. Nice toasted. Shared on Twitter. Thank you, Edwina. Absolutely awesome of you. Yadel, thanks for sharing. Let's get a few people in, shall we? And I really do appreciate it. I really do. Right. Don't forget, spin your water around. This is how you do poached eggs, like this. And just roll it in. So easy. And look how that's all stayed together, the poached egg. That's how you do poached eggs. It's so easy, it's unbelievable. Just waiting for this other poke egg, and that's it. Absolutely awesome. Captain Mifiore, thanks for coming, Diane. Thanks, Amy. Are you working, sweetheart? Because what Amy does, this is how awesome Amy is. What she does, she um, what she's working, then she'll go off to the toilet, and then she'll come and watch me. That is what you call loyalty, 100%. I 
on the oak. There we are. And that's how you do poached eggs. Remember what I've told you. Medium boil, spin it round, drop your egg in, touch the water, drop your egg in, and it'll come out perfect every time like that. Right, I must do my thumbnail. Um, And there we have paprika, creamed mushrooms on a toasted tiger bread done on the griddle pan. Absolutely awesome. Now you know how to do your eggs now. Look at that. Look at the yolk. That's what you want. Yolky eggs. All of them. Bit of pepper on. And you've got a sprinkle of uh, coarse pepper, coarse salt. Absolutely awesome, it really is. Now, this is ideal for a breakfast or a starter. Mm. Now I've got to get some of this because you know why? Because Diane will be around soon. Diane and Wendy, what they do, they come and come round to my house. But I've locked all the windows and doors so they can't get in. So don't bother coming. I've got you. I've got you all weighed up. Beautiful, thank you, John. Fresh ground pepper. You're right there. Can't beat it. No, I'm getting fat. Mm. You've got to do this. It's absolutely awesome. It really is. I'll try and lose some weight. My wife will be waiting some of this in a minute. Same as Jim John, I'm on my way. Anytime, Amy. Anytime, darling. You're always welcome. Everybody's welcome at my house. Really are. Hi, Freddie Farrington. Thanks for coming, my friend. That starter will make a great main dish. You're right there, mate. You're so right, Raphael. Oh, it's warm. What's the weather like in America? I bet it's red hot. It's always hot there, isn't it? Mm. Local mushrooms. Nice with the paprika on as well. You know what, I did a, past, a salmon pasta bake last week. Um, 
and they've got 120 ball views which is fantastic and then there was another one done exactly the same but got 6.2 million now do you often think to yourself like all of us when we're doing our channels and all that you see how many views you get for certain things and there's another one exactly the same right and they get all them views now how does that work out because i can't work it out the only problem being a chef is that you're, you're forever eating that's the only problem I'm not eating anymore. I can't. That would make a meal, a meal. It really would that far. I would love to catch them and we have a, we have a, we have enough. We have enough now. Just Mike, thanks for coming my friend. Absolutely awesome of you, it really is. I really do appreciate it. Oof. It's hard to say what's going to go viral. You're out there, Amazon, Amazon honestly. Um, we used to have a lady. But, you, but with your skills, you will get there. Um, sometimes, you know, Raphael, it's, it's disheartening sometimes because you think to yourself, you know, you put a lot of effort into uh, into your channel and I feel sorry for some of the other other people that I go and check out and that. Um, some great channels and you see that they get like 37, 57 uh, views on a video and then videos should be getting thousands, they really should. So I really don't know how it all works. You, I don't know. You, you, yeah, I think if your face fits, you're all right. If you get on top of that list, you're all right. But some of the stuff is absolute crap. And they get thousands and thousands and thousands of views. So it is disheartening sometimes. Sometimes you think to yourself, well, why do you bother? You know what I mean? Um, the only reason I do it is because I enjoy cooking. I'm never going to, I'm never going to make no money off, off YouTube. You know, I've been doing it since uh, 2016 and um, I missed it by a week until they changed the rule because it used to be like 10,000 views and 1,000 subscribers. Missed that by a week. Um, my aim is to get 100,000 views. It takes me five years, 10 years or whatever. But that is my goal. I keep uh, checking my views. I'm up to 58, nearly 58, 59,000 views. Um, and when I've got 100,000, I'm going to think to myself, well, you've really achieved some of there. You really have. But um, like I say, it is, it is demoralising when, you, when you're not getting a lot of views on your videos and that, you know. Yes, you know, I, you know, I, I am, I am. Diane, it's the same three tall. Edwin three six Edwanda three six five. You know. And we used to have a, a lady that used to come on here. I'm not gonna say her name. But she'd come on in and she had about about eight hundred and sixty subscribers. Now to me subscribers don't mean it don't mean uh, nothing. It really doesn't. It's the true people, your own community. Like the people that are in here, um are exactly the same they're all we're all a close-knit one you can reach I can reach, if I was to have a bet at the bookmakers to say who was going to come uh, to the nearest count who was coming in to, to uh, support carry on Jeff and John I would win nearly every time because it's the same people all the time that come in now there's another awesome channel that's coming all five adventures now you've got to go there uh, Aaron and her husband do, do a fantastic life um, and th they're always there for you. They really are always there for you. So grab her up. I wouldn't recommend just anybody. I have people that come in here and I don't recommend them because 
Nine out of ten, they'll just come in and collect, and then you don't see them again. You all of a sudden you see the number jump up to about fourteen or fifteen. One or two, they grab one or two people, then you don't see them again. Now, them people are just waste. They're a waste of space. They really are. They're not. Our people should be doing these. If you want to collect numbers, go and buy them. You can buy the numbers. You can buy subscribers, and you can buy viewers. Now. I was on about this lady. I know I'm waffling on and on, but I will answer you. I will talk to you. Don't you worry. Um, what happens? What happened to this lady? She had, like I say, she had 860 year things, blah, blah, blah. Within three weeks, right, three weeks, she had 36,000 subscribers. And she was getting like... Five, six, seven thousand views every video. Didn't matter what the post did, it could have been sitting on the toilet or whatever. Um, and they get five thousand views for that. Now, I don't care what anybody says, there is no way that that person can get 36,000 subscribers in three weeks and within a matter in such a short space of time and buying views. We all get these people that uh, you, you, you get them on the corner or something. Or would you like to buy some views and all that? You know what I mean? But if you're going to do that, is it worth doing YouTube? We're not in it to make the money. We're here to show off our skills because we've all got the skills. We really have. Otherwise, we wouldn't be doing it. You can post a video... I'll give you a prime example. This could be posted, and then about two minutes later, you'll get somebody come, uh, support me, shows you a love, full view. Now, they must think you're crackers. Because if the, if the video is going for 40 minutes, and it's at times sharing three or four minutes, how could you possibly watch that? If you're going to do things like that, things like that you know, don't bother. I mean, my subscriber, it goes to three, over three, I'm over 3,000. It's irrelevant, honestly. I, I, it is irrelevant. But you'll find that you'll, you'll go up seven or eight, uh, and then the next day, I hide my subscriber because I don't want to keep looking at him because uh, it, it demoralises you because you know exactly what people are doing. They come and collect off, yeah. Um, and YouTube take them away because they've not watched all his video. So they seem like... Or subscribe, yeah, watch full view and all that. It's, it's all utter nonsense. You get one or two that are 100% because you know by the comments and what if they watch part of the videos or whatever. I know if somebody's watched most of my uh, this cooking because there'll be certain things in it. Um, if they've mentioned it, then I know they're genuine. You know what I mean? And tonight, um, I'm, I'm hoping. That you have learned something from me. You've learned, um, you've learned how to do poached eggs now. The amount of people that can't do poached eggs. That is the way to do it. The way I showed you. Medium ball, spin it round, put your egg in gently like in a bowl, and it roll out the bowl. Because if you drop it from a height, it drops like a bomb, and all the egg goes all over the place. That's not the way to do it. So that's the way to do that. Yes, thank you, John. Yeah, Del. Um, she's an awesome lady as well. Honestly, she really is. I could, I, I could rant and rave about every single one of you. Really can. Now, she teaches people how to play, play the piano. Now, to have piano lessons... And then go and watch your yeah, now. She's, she's, a, she, she, she's a master at it. Now, if I wanted to learn how to play the piano, you can learn from your yeah, She teaches a lot of youngsters and that. And them youngsters are absolutely awesome. They are awesome because they put a lot of work in it and they've got the best teacher on YouTube. She is absolutely fantastic. And I mean that. She really is. So check out your yeah, You've got to check her out. Um... UK Scrapper, uh, big mate of Raphael, um, wherever Raphael is, UK Scrapper's there, he's absolutely awesome, he really is, I never knew how to do a post day, I do now, that's it mate, you know how to do it now, every time, 
not boiling water it's got to be medium to boil because otherwise it'll all froth up and that's not the way to do it so you know how to do it so we've done that what i might start doing i might start doing some kitchen tips you know how to do your uh, how to do a savoy cabbage the proper way how you do it in a restaurant you know rather than hacking at it um the right way to cut a swede and that kind of stuff because the amount of people that you see doing a swede and the, the bending the form and everything there's an easy way yes would love that well that's what i'm going to do that's what i'm going to do it really is beautiful natural and makeup 60. she's finally made it well done sweetheart well done absolutely awesome of you sweetheart uh, check out Beautiful Natural Makeup 60. She's such a darling. She really is. Beautiful lady. Love it a bit, sweetheart. Really do. That will be fabulous, John. Well, that's what we're going to do then, Diane. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have... Um, might do it... When, when I've got more time on a Sunday, she's got one or two things sorted out. I'll spend a bit more time with you. I'll show you how to do little tips on how to do this and how to do that. Then we'll know them, won't we? And then we'll all... What I'm going to do, I'm going to train all you lot to be awesome chefs. I really am. That's what you're going to be. Awesome. We've got some awesome people in here. Some awesome peers. Peers is, is, is what Raphael calls them. Thank you, John. You're welcome, sweetheart. And one of great... It's good to have good peers around. A new case scrapper. He's gone off now, mate. He's, he's a great guy as well. One of them, so absolutely brilliant. And one of three, six, five. Don't forget, check out, yeah, now check out everybody. Everybody check each other out. Check out Amy, what the power. I've been friends with Amy for such a long time now. I may as well be married to her. Honestly, she's absolutely fantastic. All these people in here, buying a couple, have, have been in my life for the, for the last couple of years. And they're still there for me. And I'm still there for you as well. That's what you call genuine people. We don't, we don't do bullshit. We don't do it, honestly. It's so hard to go and, and, and support each and every one of you. But the ones that come and leave you a comment and, and, and go out of the way... And do that. Don't worry about this getting cold because I can just warm this up in the microwave for about 30 seconds and that'll be, that'll be good to go again. Um, they're, they're, they're my priorities. If they've left me a comment, I will get back to them and I will always show the love to them. Because you know that saying, out of sight, out of mind. If you don't come to me, I can't see you. And half the time you don't get the notifications and that. You know what I mean? So that's the reason. If your face fits, you're all right on YouTube. Trust me. We really value your work, John. John and Jeff. See, see Jeff now, he, he doesn't really have to do a lot of uh, editing and that now because I'm always live. Um, but he does be thumbnail for me, you know. Um, it's a pity Jeff's a bit camera shy and all that because he... I mean, he's a qualified chef as well. He does awesome curries and that. But it's just the way he is. Some people can stand in front of a camera and talk about things and that. But Jeff can't. So there you go. R5 Adventure. It's all there, sweetheart. I just want to thank you again for coming in. See, I do actually appreciate people coming in. I'm not... I'm not... Um, one of these, you're just a number to me. That's why, I, that's why I keep shouting your name out and trying to support you and all that. Because you, you do, you mean a lot to me. You really do. There's a lot of you people I would love to meet. I really would. I'm glad I caught you live. Our oh, Father, I'm so glad that you've come here. It, it really does mean a lot to me. See, sometimes if I'm up late at night and I see you there, sweetheart, I will jump on through it five or ten minutes or whatever, to show you my love. It's my appreciation to say, you've been to see me, I'll come to see you. And that's what it's all about. Support, support, support. Luke? Yeah? I've done some of them green mushrooms and poached egg. What was it? It's on here, I've done some if you want. 
I'm just going to move that because my lad's going to have this in a minute. It's um, paprika mushrooms with a poached egg. So if you want to just put it in there for a couple of minutes, just try it. That's my young lad, he, he's the one that's um, he, he's my guinea pig. Mm. Is that nice? Hey, I was, did you hear that? It's well nice, so. You're taking it with you? Yeah. See, that's gone now. You know what I mean? But, if my lads love me cooking, that's all it's about. Yeah, I just, just, just don't have to show your face. Hey, are my lads taking that now, <laughs> are Luke? Cheers, lad. Alright. That's it. He's got his teeth all right, he's sorted. Um, it's absolutely awesome. Um, I was in, I was repaying you a visit and you just happened to be alive. Well, that's absolutely awesome, sweetheart. Absolutely. And everybody that goes live and, and works hard on their channel, like they deserve every single thing they get. Some people, they haven't got it. They haven't got it. They don't deserve nothing. They're just some, some people are just no good but i love cooking i've cooked for 35 years um and for the last nearly three years i met some lovely people like yourself like my lad's just come in and he's tried that and he's gone that's that's him sorted that's his supper sorted now that gives me great honor when my boys say to me dad can you do this can you do that it could be two o'clock in the morning. Can you do this, Dad? Can you do that? And I'll do it for them because I love them to. I absolutely adore my kids and oh, and the wife as well. I both mention it in case you ever watches the replay. But um, that's what it's all about. Because food does make you happy. If you're down in the dumps and you've got a nice meal there, and you know your family around you and all that, it's absolutely fantastic. It really is. I really do enjoy that. All my stuff has been getting. Flagged by jealous individuals for weeks. R5, what's your first name, sweetheart? I don't want to call you R5. I'll tell you something now, sweetheart. Wherever you go in all walks of life, nobody, and I mean no money, nobody, barring about 1%, that go around criticising people because they don't want to. They don't want you to do well. Nobody wants you to do well in life. Do you know what I mean? It's like when you get a new car. Now, my my Range Rover there, I mean, it's a, my pride and joy. And in the last six weeks, I've had nails put in them. Nails that have, got, that have been wedged in my tyre. Four times I've had my, uh, the puncture sorted and all that. You know what I mean? Punctured them for me. So... When I change this motor in the next two or three weeks, and if that happens again, then it's somebody that doesn't like it because they don't like it because you've got a decent motor. And what they don't realise is you've worked all your bloody life to uh, get that. These ones with the little scrap heap of cars that st uh, stink in bed all bloody day and don't want a job. I've got no time for people like that. But I'll always give people a chance. I mean, I, I, mean, I employ 11 people. If they show respect... You show respect back, because in life, that's what it's all about. You earn respect. People don't give you it just for the fun of it. And that's what it's all about. And I always say to my lads, people treat you right, always treat them back. And you'll live a lot happier in life, you really would. It is, it is awful, yeah. It is bloody awful. There's always plenty of people like that, but... It was mine. I ain't got a bad magic wand. If I had a magic wand, I'd, I, I wouldn't be waiting. I'd never stop waving it. I don't think I'd ever sleep. It'd be like this all the time. You know what I mean? Get rid of it. But anyway, um, I need to pick my daughter up. Glad I caught you live. My name is Crystal. Crystal, um, you're old enough. You're big enough. You've got wide enough shoulders just to say... To these people, just laugh at them, but just laugh at them. You'll, you'll get there, trust me. And I want to personally thank you, sweetheart, for coming um, to the live show and showing us some love. That's really, really, and we hope to see you again, sweetheart. And I, and I mean that. Absolutely awesome. 
and we're always on about this time on a Sunday, so come and see us, sweetheart. And every single one in here will always make you welcome. Like Diane, Wendy, Raphael, Russ. You know, what the paranormal... Well, Amy, I'm not really saying what the paranormal... Amy, she's, a, she's great as well. Absolutely fantastic. really is. I don't... Raphael... I don't care how much how much anybody's got. If they've got a penny and they've got a uh, ten million pound, I respect that person who respects me. If he's good, you show respect back. That's what it's all about. I don't be too mongers. What the fuck? It's like these people. I mean, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a lot of supermarkets now. You start getting these beggars asking for money and the things and that. And everywhere you go, people are asking for money. At the end of the day, you can only give so much money away. You know, for cancer and your heart and all that kind of stuff. You can only give so much away. The government should be giving them bloody money. To them. But some of these people outside the supermarkets, I've seen, I've seen one the other week. He got up from there and he got in the top of the range Mercedes and drove off. Now, that happens. That happens. It's all a racket. It really is. Because we're too daft. You know what I mean? But anyway, I don't want to start waffling on about stuff like that. I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be showing you people how to cook and that. So there you go. Have to go, John. Love you. We'll catch you. Catch up on your vids. Amy, big massive hug to you, sweetheart. Hope your family's uh, fine and well. Love you loads. Absolutely. Absolutely love you, Amy. Voila. Don't say that much of now, do I? I've come along a bit long now. We're getting a bit more posh now. We don't use that word, Walla. But we're going to have to start using that word, Walla. Beautiful matching, mate. Way. Take care, my friend John. Beautiful. See you soon, sweetheart. Absolutely adore you. And you know that. You really do. And it's a shame that I miss you. I do. And honestly, if you're going live, if I can get it, I don't get your notifications up, I'll chat with you for hours. You know why? Because you're absolutely fantastic and I really do enjoy your company. Amy, top draw, Raphael, UK Scrappers, um, all the best, um, Mr. Penguin, Russ, give my love to Mel and I hope everything goes, goes well. I really do. You know, Talk to you, please. She's a really, really nice friend. She really is. Anyway, I just want to thank everybody that's come to see us. Um, 17 likes. Still seven people in. Um, I must go. It's been absolutely awesome. I know it's only a simple thing tonight, but try this. and Nice little starter or like Raphael said, a main meal or whatever. You there. Um, Raphael, loving your man, you know that. If anybody else is coming, Diane, love you. Love you as well, darling. Ross, I'm there, mate. I really am. You know where I am if you ever want me, you know that. Anyway, from Carry On, Jeff and John, I just want to say you all absolutely awesome and I love you loads. Walla.